India's Netra Mark II project is facing delays, as Airbus has quoted a significantly higher price for complex modifications required on the Airbus A321 aircraft. India and Brazil are all set to sign a government-to-government -government agreement for the procurement and local manufacturing of 70 km range Akash NGR defense system. The 190MW nuclear reactor developed for S5 SSBN could find its way in India's future 70,000-ton nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in twin configuration. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has invited Indian manufacturers to undertake the production of multi-influence ground mine. Indian Navy's INS Vela submarine has docked at the Colombo port for a three-day operational turnaround in Sri Lanka. After taking delivery of 96 ATOR specialist mobility vehicles, the Indian Army intends to further increase its fleet by procuring an additional 24 units. China has built a land-based prototype nuclear reactor for a large surface warship, which is the clearest sign that China is advancing towards producing its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. The DRDO is preparing to conduct a test of the long-range anti-ship missile in the next few days, and this advanced quasi-ballistic missile is designed specifically for anti-ship operations. The 1,500 km range missile is engineered to target large formations of enemy warships or high-value vessels like aircraft carriers. The primary deployment of the long-range anti-ship missile will be with coastal defense batteries, that will target enemy fleets before they can threaten Indian waters or naval assets. It will also be deployed on frontline warships, that will significantly enhance their offensive reach. The Indian Air Force is interested to procure at least 100 swift unmanned aerial vehicles, that will be equipped with a sensor turret that houses electro-optical and infrared cameras, as well as synthetic aperture radars, wide area motion imagery sensors, wide area maritime surveillance sensors, and signals intelligence packages. It will also be armed with up to 100 kilograms of GPS-guided smart munitions, with individual munitions weighing between 10 kilograms and 20 kilograms. The Aeronautical Development Establishment has invited industry partners for the design development and integration of 20 air-launched unmanned aerial vehicles in the initial phase, that can be launched from fighter jets, helicopters and UAVs. It will weigh under 75 kilograms with its canister, and will have an endurance of 4 hours, and can fly at 20,000 feet. It will use an electric power plant with a battery management system, and it will be tested for swarming operations, and will have a self-destruct mechanism for security purposes. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>